Hello there, welcome back. So for this worked example, we're going to be taking 509 and dividing it by five. So we want to do this and we are not going to get a remainder this time. We will get a decimal answer if we do end up with a remainder. Okay, so knowing that I don't want to get a remainder, one thing I could do is I could, before I even start, add a decimal and a zero and then put a decimal into my answer space right above where it is in the problem. If I wanna go ahead and do that before I start, then a decimal would be in place and I wouldn't need to worry about it for the rest of the problem. And then it would be there, it wouldn't change the answer. So even if we don't end up with the remainder, we would still get the same answer. But let's say you don't wanna do that. You're just gonna go ahead and divide and you're not sure if you're gonna need it, so you don't put it there. So first let's start with taking five and seeing how many times five fits into five. Well, that would be one time. So I'm gonna do then one times five, which is five, subtract that and I get zero left over. Then I need to bring down the zero, okay? Now I can't really skip this step. I have to ask myself, how many times does five fit into zero? There we go, five fit into zero. And the answer is zero times. So I must put a zero above that space in the answer. Now I could go ahead and bring down that nine and try to divide that. Or if I wanted to, I could do zero times five is zero, subtract that, get zero, and then bring the nine all the way down. So those are my options. But either way, your next step would be to figure out how many times five goes into nine. And the answer here would be one. It goes in one time. So one times five is five. And then when I subtract that, I would get four left over. So since we are no longer using remainders, we need to get a decimal answer. So here is where I would add a decimal and a zero and a decimal into my answer space right above where it is in the problem. And then I would bring down this zero right here. Five goes into 40 eight times. So I put the eight up here. Eight times five is 40 and subtract it and I would get zero left over. So now that I have no remainder and I don't have any more numbers to bring down, that means I'm finished. My answer here would be 101.8.